See that shroud covering me on? Believe it or not, you're looking at the only city in the settled systems that powers itself from lightning. Looks like some sort of checkpoint ahead. It's probably designed to suck the credits directly from your pocket. Straight to Bayou's job. Now, shut up and start walking. Move it. Let's go. Monic's got to come through for me. The word is the Borealis, you know? The DJ? Well, she's... certainly provides evidence that Ryujin's influence has spread from their tower and out into the city. one of the candidates that Imogene Salzo is interviewing today. Her office is down the hallway to my left. Take another left at the conference room, follow it around to the right and up a small flight of stairs. Then take a left and keep heading that way until you see her office. Sounds like a maze, right? So if you want me to walk you back there or have any questions, just let me know. Of course, follow me. keep out of yours. This current floor we're on is the main operations level. It's where the grunt work happens for this department. Research, data entry, more busy work than you can stand. 
most of the people here are technicians that report to Yuko, but there's a handful of operatives that report to Imogen. Imogen and Yuko run a tight ship around here. Oh, I can't imagine being forced to spend my days doing menial work in an office like this, instead of exploring the stars on the bridge of a spacecraft. There's always work to be done. Base yourself. Make it a fast one. And here we are. Good luck in there. I'll probably see you on your way out. Make it quick. I have a deadline. And your friend can wait outside. I'm sure they understand. When they ask for your greatest strength, tell them you lack empathy. All right, just to get a few things straight here. I'm Imogen Salzo, Senior Operations Specialist here at Ryujin Industries. I don't normally do this, but my counterpart Yuko is indisposed at the moment. So, here I am. We're looking for someone to fill an entry-level administrative position. Apparently, our algorithm felt you were a decent match. So, let's get this started. Why do you want to work for Ryujin Industries? It's good to see you're familiar with and appreciate our work here. Why do you consider yourself qualified for a job like this? A bold answer, and hopefully one with truth behind it. How motivated are you to succeed? All in, huh? At least that's an attitude we can work with here. And finally, my last question. If you worked here for five years, what role would you see yourself in? Well... You've certainly come to the right place for that. Considering your education, I'm sure you could reasonably find a place in that department. So look, since there's a million other things I'd rather be doing than this, not to mention that this isn't even my job, you're hired. On a probationary period? Of course. First order. There's a meeting starting soon, and I need you to pick up the coffee order at Terra Brew. Fairly easy, so you shouldn't be able to screw it up. If there's a line, skip it. Tell them you're here for Imogene Salzo, and you should get served right away. The gala at the new Atlantis Free Star Embassy. I'm a little busy right now. I better do this right. I don't want Yuko breathing down my neck about it. Picked up something you might be interested in.
Clover over at Kelp Corp? She's too good for Neon. Sounds like she's trying to help someone or something. Honestly, kind of tuned her out. Thanks for choosing. Hi there. Welcome to Terra Brew. How can I help you? Oh, the Reugen Order. You must be new. What happened to Tomo? Did he finally get that promotion? I got fired is what happened. And this... is the soulless suit they got to replace me. Tomo, I'm sorry. I know how hard you were working for that promotion. Four years behind a desk. Getting coffee. Kissing up to that high and mighty Ularu Chen just to get replaced by this nobody? <sighs> Hearing that ad should have been the first sign they were going to get rid of me. I bet Ularu was just waiting for the moment to hire you. And now that I've been terminated, it's only a matter of time before they send you after me. So I'm taking matters into my own hands. Oh, Believe me. It's either you or me! No one's been sent to terminate anyone. Now, why don't you just calm down, hmm? Before someone accidentally gets hurt. You wanna talk? <laughs> I'll tell you what! You get one chance to prove you deserve this job. Change my mind, and I'll walk away. Fail? <laughs> and I think you know where this is headed. No, no, I, I have to do this. You don't understand. I wish it didn't have to be this way, but... Look, at some point, Ular really will send you after me. Hey, just, just promise me you'll remember this, that, that uh, when I came after you, I gave you the chance to talk me down. You're... Either one of the few good people in Neon, or you already know a thing or two about leverage. Just don't make me regret this. I'm going to hold you. Ready to head out there? Or did you still need time on your... Okay. Hey, no worries on anyone calling security here. Take it from me. Ryujin will handle any drama that may come from this. You'll want to be sure to report it to them. Yes, of course. Here it is. Oh, and please let Mr. Cho know that we did have the recommended maintenance done. I triple-checked the grind myself, and a mistake like that will never happen again.
home by next week. Glad to hear it. I'll put in a good word for you if you will. I hope that coffee is still hot considering the time it took you to get it. You either need to learn this city or how to deal with distractions. So, what was the holdup? Good answer, and the one I was hoping for since we learned of the incident before your return. Your handling of the Tomo situation has caught some attention, and we'd like to try you out in a different role at the company. And since Yuko isn't here to object, your new position starts right now. So, congratulations, you've been promoted. Not bad for your first day, right? Talking through it was the right way to handle the situation. I'm proud of you. No more coffee errands, but depending on how you look at it, the word errands technically still applies. You say that now, but let's move on to the details. I'm promoting you to junior operative. The position is a bit more complicated and completely confidential. Your main duty is to add influence when necessary to ensure success of the business. Any questions so far? Like any good corporation, we consider what we do here to be a trade secret. If others knew and could mimic our actions, it would take away our edge. In any case where a threat to success is established, one of us is sent out to create a more desired outcome. This may be through a conversation or presenting some new information. It's all very situational, as you'll soon see. Really? Well, this transition may be easier than I thought. Now, let's get that coffee delivered. I'll gladly take mine. And since Yuko's still a no-show, feel free to keep hers. The other recipients are eagerly waiting for you in the conference room. I'd hate to be on Miss Salzo's bedside. You'd think we'd want to support our own subsidiary and get tranquility more often, but Terra Brew it is. Terra Brew would be a substantial purchase, but we fully intend to develop the Tranquility brand. Current projections are set to surpass Terra Brew within the next five years. Tea talk aside, allow me to introduce myself. I'm Lyndon Calderi, Chief Financial Officer. I'll be the one deducting expenses from your pay every time you manage to screw up. Which, hopefully, won't be often. Good. Then it appears we have nothing left to discuss. This introduction was... not annoying. I hope our future encounters are as productive. <sighs> Just what I needed. Imogene said she hired someone new. I'm Genevieve. Head of Marketing and Public Relations. Likewise. Anyway, it's good to put a face to the new operative. The only question now is how much work are you going to be? A few slip-ups are to be expected. Just know that one screw-up for you means a lot of overtime and sleepless nights for me and my team. So, any precautions you can take will be greatly appreciated.
coffee, finally. Well, let's have a look at you. If only pleasure was the word for it. I'm Alexis Price, head of the legal department here, and I'll be direct. Any legal troubles you cause as an operative, witnesses getting arrested, are my troubles. So steer clear of law enforcement. We may have connections with Administrator Bayou and the Free Star Rangers, but they aren't the ones I prefer to abuse. Good. Then we should get along just fine. So, fetching coffee one minute, and junior operative the next. Gamden Cho, supply chain manager for Ryujin. We won't work together much, but as part of the same department, hopefully I'll be seeing you around. Yeah, it's always nice to fit names to faces. And we rarely see most of the operatives around here. Anyway, welcome to the team. Oh, and just a heads up. People in your position don't typically see the brighter side of Ryujin Industries. But rest assured, this is a great company, and the work we do goes toward benefiting millions. Please do. It's easy to get wrapped up in the bad if that's all you see. Of course, you'll be forming your own opinions as you go. Just keep an open mind. Oh, and thanks for the coffee. This intel could blow a whole operation out of the water. I hope you enjoyed your little meet and greet. I thought you'd like to know the execs who you'll be impacting while on the job. I can only imagine. Now that you've met a few of the execs, let's get you started. We have reason to believe that our friends at Keltcorp are trying to hack into our R&D server, since we're both competing for a contract right now. My words exactly. We can't allow them to win the contract, nor can we allow the action to go unpunished. I'll be giving you a data slate with a file that you'll need to upload through one of their computers. Remember, this is confidential. We can't have anyone at Keltcorp getting suspicious. When all is said and done, it should be as if you were never there. Here's the data slate. Good luck. The newbie. I have a lot to do. I can't talk now. I heard about your running with Tomo. That guy. It's 
special project we're working on for Miss Salzer. What are you doing? Don't mention it. Don't cause any trouble. with all signs pointing to the Astral Lounge. I suppose we should pay it a visit, purely for exploratory purposes. It's nice to see you today. Welcome to the Hotel Voli. Are you here to rent a room? I think you'll be pleasantly surprised that our luxury accommodations are more than reasonably priced. <laughs> That's the first thing that all of my guests say. My hotel is completely free from administrative influence, so you can rest assured that you'll be actually getting the best value for your credits. Well, almost every business in Neon is subject to ridiculous fees and taxes. They claim that it's because Neon occupies such a prime location, having close proximity to Ryujin and all of the other megacorporations. But I think you and I both know that's not true at all. Let me know if I can help you while you're visiting Neon. Welcome to the Hotel Voli. Are you here to rent a room? I think you'll be pleasantly surprised. Well, you should be, because I can guarantee you're getting gouged all over this city. My hotel is completely free. Enjoy your visit to Neon. all in a twist because his robot got vandalized. We had a good laugh about it back at the station. <laughs> My shift goes long again. The girl is gonna kill me. 
If Benjamin Bayou's ego was as combustible as Helium-3, he'd be able to provide enough fuel to power every ship in the settled systems. I've heard that Benjamin Bayou has a private penthouse at the top of the tower. Hmm, the view from up there must be breathtaking. Have things for you. Right there, you're under arrest. You're coming with us. We'll be taking any contraband and stolen property you have on you. So you're telling me I have to take my entire load of alcohol? Have something you might be interested in. Don't make my job any harder. These tariffs and taxes are getting ridiculous. Not interested. for you. Are you supposed to be here? I'm glad I ended up at Keltcorp. Miss McKenna treats her employees like family. I don't have time for this. Talk to my... Unless this is about mass purchasing some mining equipment, I'm far too busy to stop and chat. If you're wondering what that smell is, it's... Neon. You don't want to pick a fight with me. Not sure if those Varun zealots live in space or got separated from their home planet or what. They scavenge what they need. Lots of old facilities left over from the colony war. They like to pick them clean. What do you want to do for the break? I don't know, but I gotta get out of here. <clears throat> it's been non-stop interruptions since this morning, and I'm not spending another break at my desk listening to Cody eat with his mouth open. Mm. Sorry, I'm busy at the moment. More like if one of those excuse months. me, I have a deadline. You know what? Screw it. I'm going to Terrabrew right now. Yeah? I'll go with you. We can pick up an extra for Chloe if she asks. Howdy. You didn't hear this from me, but those ecliptic mercenaries, the factions use them sometimes. Freestar Collective and UC both. That's why they give them a wide berth. Earth. 
Ask me. Those murdering assholes should be blasted into space dust. in trouble. survived their first assignment. How'd it go? Anything to report? I heard you made quite the scene in the Trade Tower. Something I explicitly told you we wanted to avoid. If you recall, setbacks mean a lot of things for a lot of people. Payoffs, cover stories, cleanup crews... You get my drift. The cleaner your work, the more intact your payments stay. I'm sure you understand. Lucky for you, there'll be no docks in pay today. Just try to be more careful in the future. Exactly. In the meantime, I'll make sure that slate is properly disposed of. So, now that we know you're capable of handling some light cyber mischief, let's try your hand at a little uh, framing. <laughs> <laughs> 